Hello, family and friends. We are always interested in reading the comments generated by our content. And today, we will answer a question from a viewer who watched our video titled, Nurturing the Soul in Spirit, How and Why It's Done. Stay tuned. Twelve Twelve Vision commented, Thank you for the video. I have been watching and absorbing all day. What herbs do you suggest if we don't have Adra here in the States? Adra, or common purslane, grows in the United States. I have read that it grows everywhere in the world except Antarctica. It is considered a weed, and you often see it growing from cracks in concrete, which speaks to its hardiness. It is edible and tastes similar to spinach, and for this reason, some small-scale farmers grow it to sell at farmers' markets and for the Asian and Latin communities. Are we able to do the soul baths ourselves? Yes, a person can make and administer their own soul bath to cleanse and uplift their soul. But for more serious cases where elaborate rituals are needed because the soul has been grossly offended, or a part of the soul has fled or fragmented away from the person, family members, elders, and or traditional healers are involved. Most serious cases also require that a fowl or ram be sacrificed to the ancestors and divinities who are connected to the person. This helps the process of healing and recovery, especially if the focus of the ritual is to retrieve parts of the soul that have fled. Kwame Jeche precisely stated in his book, An Essay on Philosophical Thought, The Akine Conceptual Scheme, unless the soul is healed, the body will not respond to physical treatment. The removal of a disease of the soul is the activity of the diviners or traditional healers. I've said this in our previous videos regarding the soul, and I will repeat it again. There are many variations of soul rituals. Bathing with Ajra is good when needed, but there are other essential components to these rituals, such as eating bayere etto, or mashed Ghana yam, which is usually prepared without palm oil when made for soul rituals. Etto is considered to be a sacred dish amongst most ethnic groups in Ghana and is given to the ancestors and divinities as well. Also, Boiled chicken eggs are prepared and eaten. Eggs symbolize life and wholeness, so they are consumed to appease and uplift the soul. I made a video about eggs and their importance in Akan culture, so watch it if you have not already after this video. The link is in the description section below. I am a recovering Christian for three years now and have been studying many beliefs. I believe that I've now found my tribe. Congratulations, 1212 Vision. I'm truly happy for you, and my advice is to keep studying, be patient, and always ask your soul and ancestors to guide you. I pray for your success on your journey. Are you new to this channel and are enjoying the content? Then like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.